Welcome to the SESIM Instructor Interface. The third part of the tutorial is going to help you understand how to analyze the results of your SESIM Business Simulation courses. In this video, we will cover how to use the Analyzer feature, share the results, grade your students, hide the course, archive the course, and refer your colleague. So the first round of the simulation game is over, and now it's time to look at the results. In addition to the default results available, the SESIM instructor has a feature that gives you a deeper insight into each round's outcome. This feature is called the Analyzer, and with it, you can look at how the team decisions have affected demand. It is available in all SESIM simulations, so you can understand the cause and effect of team decisions after each round. This is particularly useful when explaining to students why their results are different from other teams and what areas should they focus on to improve. Under results, you also have the option to view the results as graphical slides, open them in an easily printable format, or download them as an Excel file. The latter option is available also on the metrics page, in which case you will have the student numbers in the file as well. To grade your students, you may simply delete the rest of the columns except the winning criteria, then assign, for example, a 50% weight to it. Now, you can add other criteria, such as strategy report and peer review, with, for example, a 25% weight assigned to each. This way, you can assess your students by applying a holistic view to their overall performance. The winning criteria, depending on the simulation, is typically cumulative total shareholder return, share price, or cumulative profits. You can find this information on the metrics page as well, along with others such as total time spent in the game and quiz score. At the end of your course, you will be able to hide your course from students, which will prevent them from accessing either the decisions or the results of the simulation game. You will, however, be able to edit the course, and if you would like to make it available to students again, simply select Show Course under the Settings tab on the Courses page. When you are ready to wrap up your simulations course entirely, you can first hide the course, then you can also click Archive Course to remove it from the list on the left, and place it in the course archive. Finally, if you have enjoyed using SESIM Business Simulations to provide hands-on business skills to your students, You'd be grateful if you spread the word about us through the Refer a Colleague link. If you think that any of your colleagues would benefit from using our simulations, this is the way to let us know. That concludes the third video in our SESIM Instructor walkthrough series. Thank you for watching.